All right, so the next step after drawing up on AutoCAD is printing it out on a, to a piece of paper. So you can see what it's gonna look like full size. And then from there, you can make a template to cut all your parts. And then now you can start to assemble the thing after doing a little bit of cleaning up. All right, everything I've done so far has been with a jigsaw or hand saws. Um, wood's very easy to work with. The next thing I did is put um, some aluminum tape on here on these parts before I glue them together and nail them together um, for shielding. Okay, so now at this point I've assembled all the wood pieces together using glue and nails. I use some like four nails here and two over here and I got little short little teeny brad nails uh, where these quarter inch pieces of wood joined together and I got some nails on the sides and then you can see the insides completely shielded where the circuits gonna be now I know this doesn't look very great really it kinda looks like a I like a hack job at the moment, but this is going to be getting a fabric covering on it, so I don't really care about how it looks. I just care that when the fabric's on, it's going to basically look good. So that's going to be my next step is putting the covering on. Okay, so after about an hour of messing around with gluing this material to the enclosure, I have it done here and now I'm going to stick the color sound inductorless wah circuit in there that I built like a long time ago. And as you can see, this kind of follows the um, color sound enclosure. And after I get all that wired up, I'm going to work on putting the treadle on here and this is another little project in itself but so far i'm pretty happy with the way it's turned out i just have to stick a little um like a clear coat on this and yeah it's getting there and here is the pot mounting bracket that i made out of a piece of like one by one l shaped extruded aluminum that you can go buy at Lowe's and with that I am now officially ready to put the electronics in this thing so that will be my next step okay so a couple more hours worth of work and we now have the electronics all installed verified working there's continuity between all the grounds and the shielding and then we've added these little tabs for mounting the treadle to. So this pretty much takes care of the majority of what has to happen on this part of the wah pedal project. The next part will be manufacturing the treadle and, and trying to recreate the color sound linkage. So that will be interesting. Yep. Okay, so here I have the treadle completed, and um, it's kind of a pain in the neck creating this thing, but it's what I had envisioned in my mind, and it's probably overkill with all these screws plus super glue, but figured this would be be good to make this nice and strong and. Um, this, this aluminum piece here, I, don't, I got it, uh, somebody gave it to me a long time ago, and it's like really hard aluminum, so it's not like it's going to flex or anything. And that just fits 
over these little tabs and I've already marked where they're going to be drilled. And the next step is going to be creating this, this link that the original pedal uses. And I've been debating what the best material would be for that and I've decided that this piece of quarter inch thick poplar wood would be just fine. I'm going to cut it with uh, probably I guess a, a mini saw and drill out these holes. Drill a little screw hole so that it tightens around the shaft of the pot and we'll just drill these out with a drill and cut it. I might use a Dremel tool uh, with a cutting wheel to get these flat spots but I'm uh, pretty confident this will be a, a good substitute for the original plastic piece that is in these pedals. So that is my next thing to do. And once that's done, all I have to do is create the little piece that would come off of here and actuate the linkage. So when I come back, I will be... Um, at that point. So here we go. So here I've devised a way to attach the screws to the bottom half of the enclosure. Um, took me a little while to figure out the best way to do this because I can't use the same method the original color sound design used. So I came up with a wood dowel that I can just screw the screws into and they'll, they'll stay in place. They should theoretically stay in place very nicely once I have those in there. You're not going to tend to loosen up like they do on the real color sound. And I put a screw down the middle here to keep this from twisting when you screw Put the screws in there so there's that part of it we drilled a couple of holes in here so that we can mount it to the enclosure and then we also um, made our little linkage out of a, that piece of poplar and i made this a little bit beefier because um, since it's wood, you know, I don't want it to break or anything. So at this point, we now have the piece on the treadle here that actuates the linkage on the pot. I painted it blue. We put some some rubber on there so it looks like a, you know, like a regular wah pedal. And then in, in here, we had to fiddle around with this a little bit. Unfortunately, my, my original wood link broke. Uh, I guess I should have paid attention, more attention to the way the grain was going when I cut it. I think it would have been okay if you, if I would have paid more attention to how the grain was running. But um, anyway, so I had to create this link out of aluminum. It was a real pain in the neck to manufacture, but um, pretty happy with the way it turned out. So next, I'm going to put all this together. And you just have to create a bottom cover and I'm going to create some sort of name plate that's going to go on the front here. And, uh, you know, I'll probably have to do little things like tweaking the height of the switch and things like that. But overall, I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, so I guess the next thing to do is put it all together and play it. Okay, here it is, all done. Bottom cover made. And not as quiet as the original, but it works. There we go.